What is going on, Ben Nation? Somebody better call Billy Joe Armstrong because it's a green day right now. So Ben is moving back to where it was. There was a little bit of a sell-off that happened uh, in the last 24 hours. Not a huge amount, but it got bought immediately back up. Uh, put us in a, a much better position. And Ethereum is starting to run. So I think you're seeing a little bit more green in the market than we've seen in just a little while. There are a few things that we're going to have to go over. These are important and you're going to want to know them. And if you're not bullish on Ben, if for some reason um, you're thinking to yourself, well, I can't say, God, he's really smart. Or whatever it is that you think, or however it is that you think when you think something about, hey, discover crypto is not that bad or something like that, then just remember, uh, uh, this is really a lot going on in the background that we're just now kind of seeing uh, that's just now kind of being revealed. A couple of things. First of all, there's a New York Times article on Ben. Now, it's not the most flattering thing. It really just kind of details what's going on with uh, his attempt to get the Lamborghini back. And look, for some of you, uh, Ben trying to get back his Lamborghini is uh, like a, a fool's errand, if you will. It's not something that you're uh, that into because you don't think that it moves the price or anything like that. Well, you know, basically the man had something stolen. From him. Uh, that was his company. Part of his company was that car. Part of everything in this comes down to uh, a bunch of people who Ben Armstrong thought were his friends stealing from it, if you will. And that being the case, he's fighting every step of the way for everything that he feels is his. So before we get before we get, before we go further, if you like this content, make sure that you hit the like button, uh, the bell to be notified, and the subscribe button that helps me out. And leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of Ben Armstrong and of Ben Coin. And then we've got one more piece of information, which I think is one of those pieces that you don't recognize right now because you're looking for something different, but this is going to be a an incredible catalyst that you're not going to see coming. Or if you're looking at it and you don't believe me, that's on you, boo-boo. Anyway, let's check the price action and let's, let's break this down. So as you can see, we're on a green day right now, uh, but we did have a sell-off. We know we had downward pressure, downward momentum, because that's what happens. You've got people who they just don't know. So what do they do? They sell and they take losses because they're not going to make it. Uh, that's what they tell you every single time. Look, make make your profit. Hold on for profit. And you just saw another big buy come in as we're sitting here having this conversation because the reversal is starting. Now, is it in? I don't know. I don't see any wicking down here that would tell me that we'll look over here on this chart. You can see there is a big wick down here following up on this one. But you see that big buy kind of led to uh, a, a, a sort of big move here. This goes back about four days. We saw a move up into 51. We saw a swift rejection on this new FIB level. Now we're going to remove this because we kind of invalidated that because it did exactly what it, uh, what it was scheduled to do, which was broke out. It just broke down instead of up. So uh, we got the move up here. Uh, and then we've got... Uh, this this kind of retest back here, back test, if you will. But if this confirms and we get this continued green sentiment right here, uh, then you're looking at a move back up towards the top of this 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 run, right? And what you want to see uh, is you want to see it cut right in here, uh, and you want to get over this 20 MA. Uh, the 20 MA provides a support level, provides a, a notification to people that sentiment is positive. So it's coming down right now. What you want is you want this move back over it to get confirmation, and then it will start to reverse and come back around. And that's when you start to look bullish again because this 50 takes a longer time to curve. It'll move like that, and then boom, we've got bullish momentum, at least in the eyes of investors. Now, in coupling that with a real world, how is that going to happen? Well, this video right here, uh, if you didn't watch it, go watch it because it does matter. All in on Hex and Pulse, three huge announcements. So a lot of this is a conversation about uh, the Hex and Pulse communities, but Layered into this is a conversation to be had about Bencoin and the fact that Bencoin is a multi-chain solution and that you can expect to see uh, Benchain, uh, Bencoin, 
branch out into Pulse Chain, you can expect to see the start of Bencoin becoming available on different uh, uh, on on different swaps and using different blockchains. For example, uh, the Solana blockchain or Avalanche. There, there's going to be some Bencoin starting to spread its wings just a little bit. And look, what a lot of people are looking for in its simplest form is you want exchanges because you think exchanges are, are where the where the money is and that's where the volume is and that's where uh the diminishment of supply comes from so there is some truth to that but when you split it up amongst other chains then you're effectively uh giving the opportunity to do the same thing because you're going to more investors solana investors may or may not trade on ethereum ethereum investors may or may not trade on Solana. there's different people on different chains there are people that are exclusively on certain chains and they're looking for price action on that so when you start to bridge over and you start to share your supply then you diminish the available supply on certain chains now if you can create enthusiasm then guess what that helps to propel the price up now uh that will also include remember there are going to be top 20 exchanges that will be part of it now they're not favorable to the spirit of Bencoin. You should know that, even though I think you, you want to see that, you should know that having it on exchanges really defeats the purpose of Bencoin. But Ben, Cassie, they understand the necessity of that because they know that for you, that represents price action. And they are going to do a lot in the coming months to try to push price very, very high and to foster mass adoption. There's a lot going on in the background that we haven't been able to share, that you haven't been able to see, that you will be getting to very, very soon. Now, if you are interested in seeing that pump, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you leave a comment uh, letting me know that you do, okay? Uh, and then and then finally, this is the article over here. Uh, it's titled, He's Lost His Marriage, His Followers, and His Lamborghini. Uh, ben Armstrong, better known as BitBoy, was once the most popular cryptocurrency YouTuber in the world. Now his empire has collapsed. Here's the thing. And by the way, uh, you can go read this. Uh, it is my opinion that it was not flattering. Um, and you can see um, Ben is an accepting person. Uh, ben is an accepting person. You can even see here that he he's allegedly even giving rides to lady friends. So, um, uh, and, and look, at the, look at that smile. Look at that smile. Um, maybe this was not... You know, maybe, maybe this maybe this thing was all about jealousy. You never know. I mean, look at the way he's smiling at Ben when Ben's not looking. You know what I mean? So maybe. Anyway, so the article, not exactly flattering, but it's a testament of Ben trying to get back what he feels was stolen from him. Very simply. And we hope that there's a resolution to this soon enough. We do think that uh, stealing from people is bad. Um, like for example, if you're, you know, the, let's say you're the CEO of, I don't know, I'm gonna pick a random company, discover crypto and your assistant's married. Should you steal your assistant from her husband? The answer to that is probably not, but things do happen. So it should be noted that, you know, things do happen. So, so just bear in mind here, this is a long process and, um, when thieves come out and start to try to steal from people, uh, it, it does take some time for it all to kind of unwind and to, to sort of unravel and stuff like that. At the end of this, I think you're going to see uh, Ben Armstrong continue to do what he does and continue to be who he is and continue to build and grow his channel. Or um, we don't know which channel is going to be his channel going forward i mean let's let's face it uh the the people who are in charge of his former they've done such a disastrous job that they're buying views that they're buying comments um that 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 it, it, it's you know the 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 engagement is pathetic uh and then uh you've got their head of content creation say stuff like we've got a great sponsor coming out and then their sponsor comes out and nobody knows who the hell their sponsor is Right. Nobody even has an idea who their sponsor is because nobody's watching. Nobody's paying attention. You know, that I mean, there's videos that I have that get more engagement than what they have. So uh, and, and I'm a small, small, small channel. So that should give you an idea. How am I keeping up on some days with one point four million subscribers? They don't care about that channel anymore. So what happens coming up is 
really going to be anybody's guess. But the important thing to this all is that you stuck with Ben, that you believed in this whole process. Yeah, I used my name. Um, that you believed in all of this and that you understood that there's a greater purpose, that there's a greater fight taking place here. And at the end of this, those of you that have been here, that have done this, there's there's a reward for you. And that's going to be focus and price action on Bencoin, that this thing has the potential to become a powder keg that will just explode. Because let's face it, there's nobody that runs the attention economy like Ben Armstrong does, or that recognizes what can be done. So, you know, at some point this thing turns around and we never look back. But until then, have just a tiny bit of patience and understand there are a lot of moving parts here. But when we get to those moving parts kind of solving themselves and we get them falling into place, there is some exponential price action that I think will start happening. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Remember, this is not financial advice. My name is Beliefs. I am always right. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow.